Welcome everyone, it is my time here and this is another episode of NHL Supercard and today we're going to look at the community battle about to start in four minutes time which is Rivals Clash. So it's the second one and as I click on it, it will follow the same format as the previous Rivals Clash and if you haven't played in them before, basic version is you pick one of the two teams, either the Montreal Canadiens or the Boston Bruins and you will then play games just like an exhibition match and each game you win you will get one point for your team and the team who wins the most points will determine which set of rewards you get so if you're to finish first and the Canadians win you get one reward if you finish first and the Bruins win you get a different reward so very quickly I'll click on rewards they follow a similar example to last time uh, but if we actually look at what's up for grabs we have a PK Subin Subin Sorry about these names, I don't know them, so for the Canadians. And on the right hand side, I'm going to guess it's something like Patrice Bergeron for the Bruins. Now, what you notice here, we've got a centre and a defender. Once again, Mar uh, sorry, Brad Marchand for the Bruins and Brendan Gallagher, the epic, for the Canadians. Both different wingers. Now, for myself, I could do with a centre rather than than a another defender so I will probably go for the Boston Bruins because of that but as we go down top 100 will get you a pro of the legendary top 250 will get you the single legendary 2151 to 500 gets you the pro epic and then we also come into the ultra rares which is a Matt Bileski and a Max uh I don't know, Pagaretti? Jesus, they don't have easy names, do they? Why can't, why can't they be called Smith and Jones? That'd be a bit easier. So, I mean, last time I got the single epic for not really playing. So that'd be 1251 to 2250. This time, I reckon I should be able to get in the top 500. That's going to be my aim. I've got a bit more free time. And I am going to see if I can get the legendary card as well but if not we're going to try and get at least in theory a pro so that would be me going for the Bruins that's about to start in just a moment before it does here is my team now I have used a similar tactic to before where I term it plain dead a lot of people will call it you know sandbagging I have my goalkeeper who is now a pro and I have a super rare pro even I also have a defender which is a super rare pro and a defender which is an epic card from the Brent Seabrook from the last Rivals Clash but I haven't trained him up at all I have left him so his stats are not too high compared to the rest of the team then I have a left winger and a right winger which are both super rare cards which have been pretty much trained up and a center rare which is pro so I need I need a centre, a left wing and a right wing um, pros and super rare to improve my team before I, I do too much more. So what I will do here is I will continue levelling up Jonathan Eriksson and I will continue levelling up my goalkeeper Corey Crawford. Um, they, along with my Brent Seabrook, will be the main three that I use to try and win matches with my... Mason Raymond and Matt Reed being my two weaker cards which are thrown in um, to potentially potentially lose. They're just balancing my deck. So I'm never going to use them to try and win matches. They're just there to balance my deck. So I could put in better cards. I do have other rare pros which would which uh, would provide better statistics. I also have an ultra rare card. But it's not been put in for that reason. So I will show you here. I was a goalkeeper for example. And my Ericsson. So this is a match that I should win most of the time. So this will put me one nil up in quarters. Then I will come to two skaters. So once again I will use my two better cars. And this should comfortably put me two nil up. And then I will probably lose the last game. Or it will be close. But I don't worry about the perfect game. I just worry about the win. So I'm going to win this anyway. Okay. So what I haven't done is I haven't made my left and right wingers. For example, common cards or uncommon cards because it will drop me down the rankings massively and it will put me into a tier where I don't need to be in. At least this way, I am still in the ultra rare tier and I have a chance to get the ultra rare rewards. 
So, and obviously the increased chance to get super rare cards. So basically, that is the idea. And if we come into Rivals Clash, this is what it will look like as you start. Two teams, tense competition. I'm going to go for Boston down here. And as it's just started, let's see if I can be the first person to put a win on the board. So you get a plus one, a plus three, or a plus five, depending on the level of opposition. So I'm just going to try this plus five. Justin, see how we do. Obviously, if I struggle with the plus fives, then I will change my team for this. I will potentially bring in two weaker cards to level out my team and to, uh, sorry, to sorry, sandbag or play dead with my team further to drop me down the ranks, but you know, guaranteeing me the wins. I mean, while I'm playing an exhibition uh, and I know it's pretty much guaranteed win I don't mind so much but for this if I'm going to lose too many plus five games then I will alter my team um, you know I'm not afraid I'm not ashamed to do that yeah I recommend you guys also use the same tactic plenty of people do if you just trump it out your best team and face other people you're just going to find that you lose a lot of games because you're going to be coming up against a lot of other other teams with very 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 good cards so your best bet is just to play to your strengths okay so that's gonna be it very quickly I'm gonna do another video later on in the day or over the weekend which will see me playing a couple of games side by side so I'll be playing this with either the uh, my NBA or with WWE Supercard or possibly 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 if I can sort out maybe all three games are running at one time but we will see so that's NHL let me know how you guys are getting on what you're gonna go for what you think of my deck I said hopefully if I can get get into this and do quite well i'll keep you updated of how it's going and with the kind of points that i think you'll need in terms of the position you'd have to finish to get the required cards that you're after well thank you for watching take care of yourself have a good thursday